Commentary for the Formula Junior German Grand Prix presented to you by Kai and Toby. Again. So, hello and herzlich willkommen in Deutschland. Uh, that's the best German you will ever get from me. Welcome to the famous Aerospeedway Lausitz, or otherwise known as the Lausitz Ring here in Germany. A track that is famous in the Formula Junior world for having one of the more entertaining races of the season uh, mainly being the two races because back then we used the feature and sprint format uh, both of them were dominated by um, Michel Valcino who just stormed the grid uh, which was one of the better races of the season and I do recommend you to watch it but now uh, we're back here the championship fight is really close uh, between Whitaker, Ragano, Tanneman and Misery both of these guys separated by eight points uh, yeah, and then we have uh, Shimon Veit, who's just right there, 12 points behind the leaders, top 5, really close to each other. This season is really, really just uh, starting to show its true nature. Uh, yeah, so I'm really pumped for this race. As you can see, we already see a Benetton on pole position. Uh, so yeah, let's go to the grid. I don't know if my co-commentator can do it, so... I'll just hand him, uh, I'll just, you know, do it for him, uh, because technical difficulties sadly exist. So on pole position we have Isabel Harvey, got a bit unlucky in the Italian Grand Prix at Apulia Speedway, but now she's back up to pace P2, and joining her on the first row is Justin Tanneman, one of the championship contenders, and a, dr and a driver for the surprisingly dominant uh, Speedway racing team. Then the rest of you would have Ragano, another championship contender in P3, Bishop, Stunning qualifying, Schnellman, Edwards, Rakus, Miller. Good 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 qualifying for the um Liechtenstein driver. Also this is a home race for Zach Speed, so definitely bonus points there. Atkinson, Granville, Sheffer, Kraus, Valiak, Mirandola, Monoyu, Regis, the Campo, Misery, Tommaso, Lindbergh, Kuratko, Ragano, Witt, Aguirre, Fredrickson and Whitaker. A championship leader starting from the last on the grid. So, uh, Toby will have to sadly miss the start of the race, but oh well, happens, it's fine, I can add it, here we go boys. Oi. Here we go. The lights are on. Four red lights. Lights out and away we go, and it's a pretty good start for Marvi, but it's a better one for Tanneman. Tanneman immediately shoots into the lead, coming into turn one, he's already ahead. Have a look coming into turn one. There's a bit of contact and now Ragano immediately goes into turn into P1 into from turn one. That is an amazing overtaking maneuver from the championship contender there. And both of the speedway racing cars lead us in this race. It, it seemed like a strategic maneuver there from uh Tanneman, pushing Harvey wide and sending uh Ragano into P1. Now just ignore that. Uh, can you respond to that, that yes, and he can join. Uh, anyways, Raku is now defending from Bishop and Edwards, as uh, Raku is actually making a neat train. Hello, speed, here we go. Atkinson now trying to... Oh, there's a yellow flag, that's not good. What happened there? Oh, no, that's Tommaso. Oh, dear. What happened to the Italian driver as I bumped my microphone? That was not nice. Uh, sorry for that. So let's see. The camper goes a bit wide. Regis tries to make a move on the outside. That is some beautiful racing here. Uh, and he just tries to go in, in the middle of them and just doesn't work. That is quite silly from Maximiliano, Maximiliano Tadamazo there. That's just unfortunate there. Simple mistake. And here we go. Oh, that's, that's Regano on the outside of Tanneman. Re overtakes his teammate. So. Great, fantastic race again. There's, there's Jakob Schnellmann. It's his home Grand Prix here uh, at Lausitz. He's fighting for the podium. Obviously, some pride there. Uh, scoring the podium in your home Grand Prix. as Harvey now. A bit of contact through there. That's not ideal. Schnellmann, there were a lot of pace uh, in this season. Quite surprising, you know. Uh, joint surprising as there is now. Harvey onto Tanneman. Harvey gets Tanneman. That is a very good move from the uh, Benetton driver. Benetton not really the luckiest of teams is now Rakus and Schnellmann going side by side through the sort of banking. So here we go. Rakus want to make a move, That's a, that would be a suicidal move from the Campos. But you know who's suicidal is Edwards as he sends a move on to Bishop and Miller follows Edwards through. Will it work for the German driver though? That is on the question. Yes, Miller is up into P7. That is fantastic drive. 
uh, fantastic driving there from the German Evolutionsteinian driver. I don't know why I keep calling it German, that's so weird. Mainly because of the umlaut. Um, no. Let's uh, let's be respectful. Anyways, as we move on, there's Valiak making a move on Piccolo Mirandola, but Mirandola defends on the outside and gets the curation uh, behind him. It's a very close race there. You can also see Monoyu overtaking the Campo. Prima again, another miserable, woeful. Uh, I mean, I can keep going on. It's just a horrible season for them. Sheffer trying to get into points, trying to pass David Granville, doesn't quite work. Atkinson makes a bit of a mistake through that to right-hander. As now Granville tries to send it out inside, maybe Sheffer on the outside. No, Granville gets it. And Atkinson is now down to P10. And oh dear god, look at this back as someone's wing actually flew off from there. And oh no, it's Ben Misery. I apologize for being a bit late. Uh, it's fine. Here we go, Ben Misery, you actually joined on the first, second actually, incident of the race. Oh, oh, Ooh. that's going to be a penalty for Ben Misery, he lost the brakes there completely. What did I miss? Uh, Tommaso got into the back, oh dear, that's just silly, and that's both of the Lazarus cars coming into the pits, that's just silly. Ooh. From the championship contender. Oh, and he tries and to there's another. And, take, and and he takes out uh, Whitaker and Process. Oh, it's all Let's going see. down. Let's see what happens. See, so basically, Misery goes slow and just doesn't check his mirrors. I mean, he had to come into the pits, but at the same time, you yeah. could have waited. Watch out when going into the pits, mate. Yeah, this this might be a gimmick for this whole race, the pit entrance. Yeah, but Ben Misery might be probably just hammered down with the penalties. As Vit is now trying to be Kamala Lindbergh coming into turn one. This is a suicidal move, as I mentioned before. Side by side. Not through. necessarily suicidal, you just have to be a bit careful through that. Yeah, but most of the times and also considering yeah. this is a junior series, you have to you have to take that in mind. There's look at the Just take be a bit careful. Don't As we go, we're gonna be going into the chicane next, not the shorter layout, which DTM uses. Yep. Also it is confirmed fifteen seconds worth of penalties uh to Ben Misery. That is uh, miserable. That's quite fair, to be honest. I mean, yeah, taking out two drivers. He took, in the span he of, took uh, out two drivers in like Alvi half is back uh, into the lead, Which is quite interesting. Is Alvi Schnellman, Rakus, and Rakus have passed. What is Schnellman. Rakus driving on today? Because, I mean, I, I'm oh. confused. He's on rails. Yeah, Albert Rakus, the start of the season looked horrible for him. And I mean, he was smashed by Whitaker in the first two races, if not three. Then he scored points in. Uh, in Apulia, and now he's challenging for some very, very high positions there. It's really surprising from the Finnish drivers now. And we're he's going to send it on to Miller, who's having a fantastic home Grand Prix for Zach Speed. Holds it on the outside, that's very surprising. And will he get it? Yes, he does. Side. Yeah, not Will really Granville not try into turn one? Meanwhile, yeah. Granville is behind them, might use both of them uh, as an advantage point. And Edwards sends it and Edwards opens the Gra Granville passed, will he, has he got it? Yes, he yeah, has. And now Bishop also passes Miller. Not will Atkinson try it? Atkinson as well, so Miller drops down to P10 in the span of like, well, three to four corners. Kind of miserable there, but at, then again, it's Zach speed. Mm. Meanwhile, Prima, the P in Prima still stands for pointless. With a very nice new... Yeah, they, they are also running nice a livery. new livery, um, to not Due to me getting in, speed. And, I, and me also having and a huge problem with it's many, And then look at this, look at this, it's Schnellman overtaking Ragana on the outside. Will he get Tannerman now? Maybe, I mean Schnellman is his home Grand Prix and he's absolutely flying. As there's Rack who's going into P4, so Ragana is losing some ground on her speed for the Speedway Racing Team. He's one of the bigger championship contenders here, and it's not looking good for him at the moment. Tannerman! Nah, not into here. He doesn't want to misery. That would be very inconsiderate. As Mirando is actually having a pretty good race. Shefford drops Shefford down. and Valiak. Kuratko, the Kuratko cars. Regis. And what, has he got him? Mm, Around the outside of not Regis. Yet. Nah, it's not going to work. It's not, oh, next shit. corner's going to work, though. No, yeah. not next corner, the corner after, he's going to get the inside line, no, never mind. he's not going to get it, Regis cuts him off. 
ART seems to be strong at like the first two races and then it all just dropped off as now the camp and Valek side by side. Here we got on board with the new livery the um, Prima and um, oh, the position. Um, quite the timing, eh? As all of it, there's a lot of Sorry, I had a bit of a connection jump. Uh, I apologize about Grand Prix. Between Kraus and Regis there, and that's not the safest of driving from the Polish driver, who's sporting a new helmet. Kraus. Kraus. And uh, Regis, and Kraus yeah, still not got it? No, nah. he's got him now. Kraus, uh, a German heritage driver, but fully Polish. So mm. you can so he can sort of treat it as a... Yeah, I mean, it is very close to Poland the second, though, let's be honest. Yeah, it's, 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 it's quite close, you have to admit, though, as now Mirandola is catching up two points. Mirandola being one of the underdogs of the series, I mean, it, he really is fast, he just has no luck. As now Miller makes a move on Bishop, doesn't get enough traction, though, and Mirandola is right on the back of the gearbox off that exact speed there. Will he get her? Quite possibly. I don't. I wouldn't try it in here. Probably gonna try and turn one. That's probably the most easiest place. That is also true. Meanwhile, back to the front. It's been. It's, it's, it's a standstill, really. Harvey has pulled a five and a half second gap, which is going down. Never mind. Five five and a half second gap to Schnellmann. The that field Benetton is, is kind of calm, good. as I say that. It's Granville and Atkinson side by side. Atkinson still has a bit of slipstream from Edwards up ahead. Uses it to her advantage, closes, oh dear, that's very close. And never mind, Granville, go, Granville. Yep, Granville he might have felt a bit, him. he might have felt bad and let him back through. Nah, I think Atkinson just lost traction there. I mean, turn one is really tricky, especially in road courses, and, you know, you don't really want yeah. to contact the Atkinson. Plus, you've got the um, oval rising, so. Yeah. There's also, I mean, the elevation that allows the spring isn't that aggressive, and uh, the beginning of the bank of the of the turns. It's rather yeah, they don't. It's not got that high banking as the circuit. Yeah, but uh, from someone who's been there in real life, it's quite. Yeah, here nice we go. To go. Edwards makes some move on the outside of Rogano. Rogano is dropping places here. It's not looking good for his championship hopes. As now Granville is right on the back of him. Dams have a lot of pace. It's just that they're very unlucky. Which you can see, and there's Granville. Yeah. And there is Bishop also sending a move on to Atkinson, but Atkinson defends on the outside, gets a better on, and now is right on the back of uh, Ragano. Atkinson might send it, no, but you know who sends it? It's Miller. Miller! Miller. Absolutely pushing here, and actually gets a At her home Grand Prix, and she does it. I mean, it's not her <laughs> home Grand Prix, it's uh, the team's home Grand Prix. She'll be, she be from Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein. I've done that mistake so many times. Same. I did it a few times again, but at least I correct myself. But anyways, it's a pretty good run. Atkinson cuts her off, though. Atkinson being one of the most uh, talented, or rather titled, uh, female drivers in the MMS world, next to like Lucas H and Hannah Eastwood, maybe. But yeah, Atkinson coming back from uh, hibernation and getting a P2. Quite a good outcome. I mean, all Schnellman is right on the back of Harvey. Here we go. Will he take the lead of his home Grand Prix? That would be that would be something else, you know. For car, yeah. After, after losing a driver, they 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 get a podium, and now they have a chance of one of their drivers scoring a home Grand Prix win. But don't forget. That's though, extremely special, especially here, due to all the fans being in very good, have a very good side of it over the track. Well. Mm. Schnellman sends it. Schnellman and Schnellman takes the lead. But it's not certain yet will he keep it, because Harvey lost a bit of pace, but Harvey can still regain it, or Tanneman, if or Rakus even, if they overtake Harvey in yeah, time. Yeah, definitely. Tanneman, Ooh. speaking of, there's a bit of a bump there, that's um, questionable. Mm -hmm. but, uh, that's FJ, gonna be fine, nothing happened. FJ isn't shy of um, showing questionable Contact. Or, um, ethics of racing. As Just like Rakus, we saw with Ben Misery! Yeah. That's true, and there's Raku sending it onto Tanaman, and now Raku's... I honestly don't know what he's doing, but Jesus Christ. Will he try it on Isabella Harvey? Yeah, he, or is he if, a bit fun? if he's lucky enough, he might actually do a double overtake. You know, he pulls back to the slipstream. Tanaman goes a bit defensive to the outside, trying to get a better run. Maybe trying to make a move on Harvey here and there. Here he goes on the outside, and there he is. Justin Tanaman immediately goes into P2, and immediately uh, is trying to gain seconds onto... Uh, Jakob Schnellmann is now, Rakus is also harassing Harvey there, pushing himself And he's through. passed. And he's through. 
still side by side though, nothing is certain yet. Rankings might uh, basically uh, lock up coming into here. No, nothing like that. And now Edwards also makes a move on Harvey. Harvey's dropped so many positions, span a few la a few corners really. Half a lap, if I'm honest. That's sad. Uh, what's happening to that? I don't know. Also, you can ask what's happening to Davido Ragano, who's pretty much dead in this race, not doing the best. Bishop is now defending P9, but Miller is defending P9 from Bishop. Nirandola is still trying to get into points in this race. He has another Zack speed at the back of him, as there is the Campo. Will he finally pass Eva Valiak? No. Mm. He won't give up though. Vet. Yeah, Vet is, compared to his teammate, Vet is not doing the best. No. Oh, there's yellow flags though. What happened? Oh no! Oh, oh. no, it's Albert Raku's! Oh, oh god, no! no. Oh, That's so no. unfortunate. No! Raku's engine just blows into flames as he was about to pass Tanneman for P2. P P2. Oh, no. He's gonna be. He's not. Oh, I feel oh, bad for him. The engine just shuts off. He's out. He's out. Oh dear. He's gonna be so annoyed. And with. This is a gut-wrenching moment for the campus team. Because now, with Whitaker also a fellow wing, it's not looking the best for them. Oh, that's not very fair, then. It's pretty much a look up at their moment there. And Granville's in the post, yeah, looks like he gave up. Yeah, away. Granville finally has the ability, with that retirement, has the ability to score his long-awaited podium in this season. There's now Harvey, they immediately make it free wide. Harvey now pushed a bit wide by Granville's actions and now Atkinson can get a better run but doesn't do so. Speaking of Granville, he's really happy. He actually has the chance of uh, of making a move on Edwards. Doesn't send it just yet. Harvey tucked in behind as well. Miller is now right on the back of Regano and Miranda has overtaken Bishop and look at this. With the Campo, uh, if the Campo keeps the gap to Valiak and uh, <coughs> And basically this whole pack, he actually has a chance at points for Prima, which would remove the meaning of the P in Prima, which is quite astonishing. Because now Miller sends it onto the championship contender, and Ragano is uh, really suffering in this race. I do not know. Maybe not it's the best race for Ragano, is it? It's either a mechanical issue. He just has no pace. Something's definitely wrong with that speedway mm -hmm. racing, though. Speedway racing car. Sorry. As now Sheffer makes a move on Bishop, and Bishop is now out of points. Started fourth, not looking the best for him at the moment, is it? As the Campo tries to sneak past, Valiak doesn't quite do so yet, but the Campo seems to have a lot of pace on the circuit. As now yeah, definitely. Like Miller. Miller tries to extend from the track there any way, shape or form. She's going extremely hard on Atkinson. Atkinson. I mean, that inside wall should not be there. I mean, exit. I mean, it is preventing some kind of corner cut against that. Miller makes a mistake, goes to the outside, that's not preferable. Ragano doesn't make the move just yet. But that's quite risky for Miller. She's risking quite a wealthy position, if you ask me. As now, Harvey onto Edwards, no move there. But Tanneman and Schnellman are battling for P1. It's not get risky between those two. He's going to use the nose cam for this one. There he goes. That's a very opportunistic move from Tanneman. Does he keep it? No, Schnellman has it on the outside. He keeps nice. that position, but Tanneman is still tucked in the slipstream. It's less than two tenths of a second. Tanneman still has a shot at the lead of the race. I mean, th this is really why the house stream was kept on the calendar. It just provides amazing racing. Granville is also catching up to these two. It might be a surprising podium for David Granville at this stage. As now Tanneman uses the less preferable outside line, rejoining onto the uh, main part of the oval, losing some time. As Miller now finally gets past Atkinson, so does Ragano. And uh, Harvey has passed Edwards as well. Here we go, Ragano and Atkinson. I mean, R Ragano is really um, just trying to salvage anything out of this race. Drop down from, uh, from P1 to P3, and then oh, that's contact between Randall and Atkinson, and now he's down to P7. Uh, getting back on the topic, but yeah, it's, it's not looking the best for him as now. 
Sheffer trying his best to overtake Giovanni Piccolo. Now Miranda is, is that is that an issue for Miranda? Because that is a very bad exit there. Slowed Sheffer down a lot, allowing Bishop now to try and challenge for points once again in this race. And yeah, Bishop goes through Valley, goes through oh my days. Yeah, Sheffer, as as much as he was a better driver, um, in the first half of the season, it's not looking like that today. There's now Atkinson and Mirandola. Mirandola doesn't get the position Atkinson on the outside of fences. We're halfway through the race. I didn't even notice that. Time really flies by here. As Tannerman's still behind Schnellman, that allowed Granville to really catch up to these guys. Mm -hmm. This is very risky now uh, for Tannerman. Halfway through the race, pits are going to open up soon, so yeah, that's going to get to watch. As now fastest lap goes to David Granville as well. You're just flabbergasting. His performance this season really is. There he goes, makes a kamikaze move onto Tannerman and makes it work. Granville is up into P2 and now is chasing down Schnellman with basically immediately. He's right on the back of that column. Is it going to be a surprising lead from David Granville here in Lazarus? As I had to do that sip. Granville's still tucking in behind. Harvey is back at a shot for the podium. Uh, Miranda has a save cap to Atkinson, we have Bishop, Valniak, Sheffer, Kraus, the Campos, Duke, Morgano, Regis, Aguida, Lindbergh, Kratko, Fredrickson, Misery, Tommaso, and Whitaker, and we have Monoyu, who obviously lost the rear wing, which is pretty much a miracle. He still has it, but there is David Granville. And Tennessee. Granville into the lead. The Cypriot driver really looking nah, good. Nah, he, he be British. Oh, okay. Sorry. Again, I've made so many mistakes. Yeah, it's fine. It's, I don't really mind or care. As there's Harvey, a lot of contact there with Schnellmann though. Yeah, that contact actually gave her power to overtake the German driver. That Brilliant. Formula Junior, ladies and gentlemen, Formula Junior. Harvey now makes that move stick. Will Tannerman, Tannerman, no, twinkling about there, pick the worst line. And that allowed, oh, that, whoa, what happened there? There's Edwards now overtaking the Kiwi. What I, happened? Edwards. Another surprise of the season there for the Lotus FJ team. Absolutely pushing through. This race is really turning itself on its head here. Edwards might score his maiden podium. As now Ragano is back into this, Miller is in contention for the podium. That's mental. Did she yes. start? Oh my god, what, what's happening there? What's happening? What's happening? Oh no! Oh no, it's a gearbox issue! I called oh it! Oh no! Miranda's gearbox is gone! Miranda's Another retirement! I called it. I literally called it. Oh, they have to go off track. They don't know what to do. I There's it. going because to be an accident. A few laps ago, he was going slowly. And I assumed it's a gearbox failure, and it is. What gear is he stuck in? He's stuck in first gear. Oh my god. That is the worst gear to be stuck on. Everyone. Yeah, oh my god, the camp lost so many positions because of this. What is good? What? Oh my god. That's just <laughs> stupid from Pico del Miranda. I mean, he cannot do anything. He cannot do anything. He cannot pull he over. He can move up. He can, he can move. That's no, the that's thing. because it's a factor. Yeah, he cannot move over. Mm. Well, poor Pico del Miranda. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Again, the underdog of the season. But anyways, Harvey has now overtaken Schnellmann and is challenging for the lead uh, with Granville there as Edwards', Edwards. suicide move onto Schnellmann and makes it work as Miller is up in the five. One of, uh, well, uh, she said herself that, uh, uh, you know, she's not the best driver, but you know what? This statement might be very contradictory at this stage, just now she's up in the P4. Yeah, pretty much. Brilliant from her. Yeah, Pico de la Mirandola has somewhat ruined the Premier's race, but at the same time, the Premier drivers didn't know how to react to a slow car. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, it came so uncalled for. It's, yeah, it's no, unfortunate. So yeah, I blame, for both I blame of them. the Premier drivers there. Just not moving over. When Isabella they're... Harvey on Granville. Will will she go down the inside or not? Try move at all? Nah, she and she tries it, but she might not actually keep it. No, she, no, no, she won't. No, the outside won't. line is quicker because you got the overspeed. Yeah, I mean, unless you send the. 
the person, unless you send the person who you're making a move on wide enough, then it might be possible. As now Harvey and gets Harvey. a bit of a bump onto Granville. The outside line isn't better though through this uh, flat out corner. And Harvey through this section. into the lead. And now we get onto the oval, and she's gonna have a try now. Oh, on the outside, As she drives it down the outside. That's not no. the good line there. You're only losing time, Isabel. And she got loose there, and I don't think she's gonna be able to get into the next yeah, corner. Yeah, Miller as well, trying to do anything. As oh, that's a bit of a jump there from Schnellman. As Bishop is up into P8, Chef into P9. Well, pit window's gonna open very soon. Uh, I suppose. And then again, if this is a no-stop race, this will be interesting that the drivers manage yeah. to survive. Wait, is it a no-stop stop. race? I don't know. We'll have to see. I mean, I tr that that would be very unfortunate. But anyways, Atkinson out of points, Kraus into points, as uh, Valier Cruz has a few positions there. Against and he's fighting with Vit. Vit, Vit with a uh, Lando Norris helmet there. Yeah, I just and lost a bit of connection, so I just me. bugged. And he's still ahead, Devic Granville. Very good defending. Will Il Isabella Harvey try it this time? Same corner. I mean. Harvey has to make a move on very quick because it's not looking good for her. It's really not. There you go. There she goes. And now she's goes. through. That's she very good. So the pole sitter is back into the lead. Something you don't usually see in MMS. No. Uh, especially from the junior. Miller is onto the podium. As uh, Schnellman is absolutely dropping off. So the home Grand Prix ain't looking too good for Schnellman anymore. It was looking really good, but this is the thing with Formula Junior. When something is looking good, it won't be good. Not all the time. Well, not all the time, but basically, um... Sometimes we have some good things. Formula Rookies had some good times. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, all the series have some good times. I mean, Formula yeah. One. There's Spanish good and bad really. things. One of the better races of the season. There we go, Kraus now. On to no. Bishop, still trying to do something. Kraus, it's really surprising here. As Vit now goes up into P10, so... The Polish driver not really too bad. Not losing too much skill. Ooh, and ooh. And that's a bump. And that's Kraus up in that's... the eight. Schnellmann looks like he might not even get any points this weekend. Yeah, both of the car and car might not even score points at this stage. As uh, Harvey has a very huge gap over. Oh my, what even is this? It's four seconds to Granville and nine to Edwards. <laughs> Jesus. No, no, that's, just, that's just pace in here. Yeah. And anyway, it's, it's quieter um, than most races, to be honest. Yeah, it is calm, which is uh, nice. But it's not calm at all, compared yeah, to there anything. We go. There we go, Tanneman up into P4, Miller down to P5. There's now Rogano who's picking up the pace in this race. Will it be a move from the American driver? Yes, it is a move, and he gets back into P5. So now we have a comeback drive from both of the, well, from Atkinson, from both of the Speedway Grand Prix cars. Speedway Racing cars, sorry. What is this Anyways, Vit is now up into P9 as uh, Atkinson is harassing her teammate for um, points, basically. Yeah. Is this now, this is side? uh? No, it's not gonna work. Rayner, get yourself together. And it seems that we might have to see no pit stops in this race because it's four laps to go. And nobody seems to be coming in. It would be funny if they all just pit in the final lap, though. Shut up. I'm joking. Miller is now dropping. Oh dear, Miller has dropped down to P9. From ne never mind, never mind. She's fighting back. She never mind. Oh, she's pitting. No. So uh, pits happening now. Uh, boom. Okay. Pit window. Well, I was close. Four laps to go. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. That got me off guard. Both of the Carlin cars pitting. See, this will, this will make a difference. This will make a difference now because the pit entrance is a bit uh, questionable, as we've yeah. seen with Ben Misery. So this will definitely spice some things up. As now Atkinson obviously trying to save the fuel a bit, going a bit wide there. Not this could be an advantage for Ben Misery that. actually, because he's right on the back of everybody. Uh, who? Ben Misery. Uh, I wouldn't say so. Whitaker has the best chance, really. Yeah. Whitaker lost his wing, obviously, by Ben Misery, and he's now up into P13 with a wild oh. move uh, on Evervaliak. Great move. Yup. Here we go, these guys slowing down. All Is everybody mark. pitting? No, but they have the red mark. They have the markers, basically. Now, don't take him out, please. There we go. 
Let's see if anybody gets taken no, out. I don't think that's gonna happen. I think that was just a one-time thing because he didn't have a like front wing. Yep. <laughs> he was just too desperate to go in the pits. So Granville is into the pits. One of the race uh, win, basically one of the win contenders, whatever. Call the pit is doing. huge here. Yeah. I mean, a at least it's safe. Yeah. Well, speaking of that, no, it's not. Nice. No, okay, it is. <laughs> So Granville will exit in 19. The camper and Fredrickson both pitting misery. Obviously, he isn't pitting because obviously he didn't. But he's got the 15 second penalty that's going to really demote yeah, him. Yeah, that's that's the thing though. He has a 15 second time penalty, which is pretty much ended his race. I mean, it's deserved. He took three people out. Two. With uh, three, including himself. Yeah, three. So now both of the speedway racing cars. Battling for the podium position, basically who enters the first hits first. And it seems that Tanaman is going to send it onto Ragano. Is he going to keep it? Yes. Yeah. Ragano just letting his teammate go. Interesting. As Whitaker, obviously. As Whitaker goes past. Whitaker, he might not have to pit. Due to I don't think damage. he will. What what lap did he get basically, contacted? Like lap four? Two, two or something. Uh, yeah, I think he'll, he'll make it to the end. Yeah, so we have another Mihail Va Mihail Valcino moment. That happened in round one, didn't it? Uh, no, yeah, Someone. that happened with Vit, I think. As Harvey pits. Uh, they're all in right now. It. They're Rocks all in the pit. Lifted. <sighs> Ropped, and now we're waiting for the time she exits. This is a 7.1. Nice. Oh, now my question is, okay, Whitaker takes the lead. That's that was predictable. Where's Granville? That's Ben Misery exiting, but he's not really in this race. He's useless. Monoyu, Monoyu though. Both of the oh no, they 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 oh no, they have the indicators. They might have to pit on the final lap. So Granville is just two cars. Granville is up in there when it comes to contention, and look how many cars. This side by Tanaman and Vitz side by side through the pits. That is Please don't tear. There's gonna fingers crossed. Oh, Tanneman makes it on the outside there. Interesting. Tanneman is Tanneman is down to thirteenth. That's this that strategy just messed him over big time. Mm. Oh, Tanneman is not gonna be happy with that. Monahue and Tomaso look very racy. Oh, here we go. There's an indicator on Granville though, so I suppose they just didn't feel the cars too much. So it seems that the undercard has worked a treat as now Monoyu overtakes Harvey, helping Granville challenge for some greater positions in this race. Mm. Will they have to pit those two again though? I don't know. The, the strategy just decided to flip the whole race on its head now. That's brilliant. Yeah, now Whitaker. It's Ben Mosery's P2, but Whitaker's no, basically got it. No, he's not. He's got 15 P2. seconds. Tommaso now sends it on to Harvey though. He, he's really he's really allowing Granville here to overtake Isabel because Granville is so close. They're not pitting. They're not pitting. As we go on the final lap. Pitting. So this is for position. This is this is for position. This is how this race will end. So the Lazarus Grand Prix cars, due to both being crashed into or taken out. Or they crashed into someone They've else. been in... They're like P4 and P5. As but Granville goes around the outside... Granville onto Harvey. Goes to the inside. And yep. he's got her. That is a great move from Granville. Good on there. the British. Now Edwards, will he do a similar thing? Quite risky. Will he try it? You never know. Will he try it into the corner that Isabella Harvey really likes overtaking? Into... Nah. I mean, you never know. He's really close. Yeah, I mean, all, me all Harvey just can't seem to warm up the... The Misery tires is pulling an amazing gap into here. It's about to... Oh my god, he might actually lose like only a few positions due to the 15 second time penalty. Oh my god, look at the gaps. Look at the gaps. Misery might actually get it. Misery might actually still be on the podium if he pulls a will be of a gap. This is unbelievable. Yes, yeah, so I have a big connection. Will he win it on track? Nah, he will not win it. It's going to be George Whitaker, who wins from last after being taken out by a moronic but misery. Ben Misery, I think only. Okay, he loses a few positions. He is not on the podium, but look at this. Edwards now passed both Granville 
Halvey has dropped behind Miller. Miller is going to finish P7 in her first points playing position, but Mono is on the podium. Congrats. Thomas will be free. Then we have Edwards, Granville, Miller, Harvey, Schnellman, Atkinson, round of the points. Then we have Regis, Kraus, Tanneman. Tanneman, another bad race for him. Witt, Bishop, Sheffer, Lindbergh, Ragano, Da Campo, Kunat, Kavaliak, Aguirre, Ragano, and Fredrickson. Oh, disappointing for him. I mean, he used the overcut as well, which just killed him in this race. Whitaker, though, brilliant driving. Yeah. So, fastest lap goes to Tieran Regis. I mean, that's interesting, but yeah, he, here's your race winner, George Whitaker. Absolutely flying. I think I know who I'm going to give the driver of the day to. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Misery drops to. Uh, I'm going to give it to Whitaker. Six. M Misery drops to six. And still not bad, but could have been so much better if it wasn't for stupidity. Yes. He's still to to pull that gap. Yes. Yeah. Insane. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, driver of the day is obviously George Whitaker. Uh, yeah. Congrats that's, to him. Yeah, that's what we found it out. Uh, that was a very good race. A bit less chaotic than most of them. But quite, still quite fun. surprised with the strategy that they had to pit so yeah. late, but then again, happens, you know. Yeah. Pits the they just... circuit. This circuit isn't too long, isn't too harsh on the cars. There's a lot of braking zones, so I'm not surprised they pit so late. But anyways, that was one hell of a race. Yes, it was. That's been it from me? Uh, that's not it from me yet, because... Uh, okay, so... she's love got the monitor to talk on. <laughs> Next race, we're going to the Dodge Grand Prix uh, for the Zandvoort circuit. What well, the Zandvoort circuit for the Dodge Grand Prix, as I have a straight... The most... Cursed... The most... Elevated circuit I have ever seen. And the most cursed circuit in case of MMS. Mm. Uh, Tame de Jong won it, and uh, Tunde nearly lost his legs. No, wait, actually, he lost one leg. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he lost so, a leg? Uh, what? It par partially. You what happened, if I may <laughs> ask? A lot of things, uh, okay. but that's off, off, the, off camera. But yeah. That was one hell of a race. Again, Lancet's ring is here on the calendar for certain reasons. So, that's it from me, and that's it from Tommy. Be sure to be safe. Finally, it's that's it from me. Safe and the Royal Belt. You know, just stay happy and uh, don't drink and drive because that's bad. Yeah. See you next time for the Dodge Grand Prix. Bye. Um, yeah. Bye bye.